two ways you can clean this. The first way, the easiest way, is to take like a credit card or a gift card or something, something plastic, not paper. You want something with this amount of thickness. thickness. And uh, you know, it's not gonna ruin your card, so it doesn't really matter. Um, you could use driver's license or your credit card, just don't use either on a video that you're filming to put on the internet. And then, you know, wrap it in a cloth uh, an old cotton t-shirt I find works best, but this will work too. Uh, so I'm going to use a microfiber cloth. And just get this, you know, saturate the end of this with some isopropyl alcohol. And you don't even have to take it apart while it's together. You just stick it in like that. Um, this microfiber cloth is a little bit thick. It doesn't quite fit well. Uh, and I don't want to force it. So, like I said, old t-shirt works best, but this will work fine too. This is not something you should be doing regularly. This is only something you should do uh, if your console's acting up or if it's like visibly dirty. And just insert and remove. No, don't do any of this side-to-side -side action. Um, it's not fully inserted, so don't worry. Uh, but just insert, remove, and you know, do that a few times and you're done. However, if you have a console apart, which I do, there is an easier and more effective way that involves an old toothbrush. And I use this for cleaning um, consoles, not teeth. That's why it's so gross and disgusting looking. But put some isopropyl alcohol on it. And then you can just go to town like this. And if you're using a soft bristled toothbrush or a soft bristled nylon plastic brush, you don't have to worry about being too too rough on it. Um, I mean, I'm not saying you should go completely ham on it, but you know, you're not very likely to ruin it this way. Word of warning, though, on other models. Uh, other region consoles. There is a uh, this serial number here that will rub off with isopropyl alcohol. So you can put a little bit of tape or something over that to prevent that from happening. This one has a sticker. I'm not worried about it. But yeah, you know, just do it with the toothbrush. And yes, we are doing side to side. Not the best, but it should not damage these pins as long as you're not overly rough with it. And this last pin here on the right, all the way over pin 32, that is supposed to stick out further than the rest of the pins. Um, that is a ground pin. It is designed to stick out further so that when you plug a cart in, it is physically the first pin that connects. That is the ground pin. That is normal. But this will hopefully fix our reading issues, and I should have. All right, that goes in there, and let's see if it boots my crystal. Hey, now it boots my emerald, not crystal. I swear I know my games. Ta-da!